Now with, with the proposal by Obama to change health care in this system and to imitate what's happening in Massachusetts, where they had this big health care reform in Massachusetts a few years ago, we've got an additional problem for doctors who are not in cash practices, doctors who rely on insurance. And here is the additional problem. What this Obama proposal suggests and what Massachusetts is already doing is to force the entire population to buy insurance and to penalize people on their tax return if they don't purchase insurance. Well, they did that in Massachusetts, and what that did was it took a lot of healthy people who don't need to see the doctor. It required them to buy insurance for themselves, a product they didn't want, but now that they've paid for the insurance, they want to get their money's worth. So now all these people in Massachusetts who were healthy and didn't need to see a doctor are running to the doctor because they've had to pay for it. And they want their money's worth. So the doctor's offices in Massachusetts are all backed up with people who don't really need to see the doctor, don't really want to see the doctor, are probably going to be disgruntled about the services they get from the doctor. And the patients who need to see the doctor, who have the urgent situations, can't get in. So you call up a doctor in Massachusetts, some areas of Massachusetts, you say, I, I need to get a physical. There's, I'm not feeling well. I think there's something wrong with me. I need to be checked out. We'll see you in nine months. Nine months to wait to see a physical. And that's because they had this, this health care reform up there, and they forced all these people to get insurance who weren't going to buy it otherwise, and all those people are clogging the system now. And they're not getting any value because they didn't need to see a doctor in the first place. They're healthy people. Well, we're about to see this on the national level, and so the doctors who are dependent on insurance are going to have their offices clogged with people who were compelled to buy insurance and who are otherwise healthy. And the people who, need, who have urgent problems and need to see that doctor are going to have to go on big waiting lists. Uh, the doctors who are in cash practices are not going to have that problem because their patient base are people who really need to see the doctor and really want to see the doctor and are willing to pay for it. So they're not going to have their offices filled with all these people who were coerced to buy insurance. I see a doctor like that. I see a doctor who's a cash clinic. It's called immediate care. There are other names for it, urgent care, or always open, no appointments. Often they don't have appointments. And you come in, you, you give your credit card, you pay $100, whatever, and you, you get the care immediately. Well, those offices are going to be fine if we get this health care reform at a national level. They're not going to be affected. The offices are going to be affected, the ones that are dependent on insurance. That's where they're going to see the big change in their practice. And they're going to start to have a lot of irritated patients who are just there to try to get their money's worth. Okay, perhaps the biggest benefit of all in going to a cash practice is you no longer have the insurance companies reporting you to the medical boards. And this is a huge problem. And it's a big problem here in Texas, where insurance companies single out doctors they don't like, and they have those doctors reported to the medical board, and the doctor never knows who did it. In the course of our trying to get medical board reform here passed in Texas, one of our lobbyists spoke to a health insurance lobbyist. And the health insurance lobbyist candidly said to our lobbyists that, quote, we use confidential complaints to go after doctors, close quote, in Texas. And the insurance industry exploits this system in Texas and exists in some other states where the identity of the person who filed the complaint is kept confidential. And the doctor can never learn for sure who filed that complaint against the doctor, and often the circumstantial evidence is overwhelming that it came from an insurance company. And of course, people who are in cash practices don't have to worry about this, but most doctors, most of us in this room, I'm sure do use insurance to some extent, 
And this is a constant threat. It's a constant source of stress and irritation that the insurance company, if, if, you're, do, if you're doing something the insurance company doesn't like, if you're an outlier, if you fight with the insurance company over reimbursement, they may file a complaint with the medical board. Next thing you know, you've got this huge problem of having to go before the Texas Medical Board. 